Uh, mid lane though, SF facing off against OD, the Outworld Destroyer. Uh, and the other part is that I think the, the solo push potential that Meteor Hammer gives you is not as valuable when you have a team that can also provide that for you. In a pub, mm. you have to carry the game yourself. As... <laughs> wow. Uh, some kills get missed, guys. Do not worry. That's true. That's a, it's a fair point. Um, ooh. Ah, is this really going to work, though? No. They make the move over and Big Nem not able to do it. And in fact, Ron Tokyo might walk in. He has Requiem going or just going to go for the double, triple raise. Easy kill. Forgets the double edge cost no mana. I, there's, there's not much you can afford. In uh, fact, <laughs> look at this. Poor Slayer. I mean, it, it was a bold effort for him uh, to be sure, but is eventually going to get brought down. Can't even get the Earth Spike off. The rotation comes over from FN. Meteor Hammer going to get dropped down and do they have enough to bring it down? Collapse, gonna pop the ult, he tries to run away. They get the damage with the burn down. Meteor Hammer, best item in the game. Because the Centaur is, is so strong though and putting so much pressure on top and also Yatoro kind of not taking over bottom. Doesn't feel like Team Spirit is too sad about the situ state of affairs right now. They even rotating to get quick kills on Bignum. Huh? Dude, kill the bug off of him. He's just TPing away, doesn't even care. They're going for a separate kill up on the top side. This Bignum will eventually get brought down. And that Stampede also means they can't collapse onto Collapse. He gets out as well. I, I don't know. The, the way this game is going, like, there's only been five kills for Team Spirit, but they're up 4,000 gold. They've got a Chrono going to use it. I don't know if this is going to work, dude. The Kisses are down. Nightmare afterwards. But the Hex follow-up, do they have enough? Banishment? That was pick pull. Maybe the Meteor Hammer and everything else drop down on top of them. It could be enough to kill off Collapse. Still trying to walk away, but eventually... Gonna find that tanky offlaner and bring him down. There's no way for them to contest this. 15 seconds until kisses also. Unique, not there in time. Unless they... <laughs> Unless, Unless he, he shows. In. Yeah, exactly. Uh, high five? Uh, oh my god, dude, don't die right now. You can't high five into die. Oh no! Oh. High five him! Give him the high five! Oh, Cookie, save. All right, an opportunity, a doom there. No stampede afterwards. Itaro in some trouble, walks into the chronosphere, drains the mana, but he still gets that ulti off. Do they have anything else left in the tank? Itaro in trouble, dropping away, but gets the armlet toggle. And now trying to walk out of here. If he can, eats the tree, ring around the rosy, but the earth spike finishes off. Yo, best bait in the world by FN right there, oh. but reckless those afterwards. Connects not all, but there's no follow up afterwards. One cool spirit, key. they gotta back out. They gave him a bunch of gold. He'll give him back a ulti cooldown just for funsies. Oh, uh, Mira, <laughs> it just comes in for the bounty and- Nice. Maybe a kill as well, but we know FN is the bait now. It's true. Ooh, juke, jump, stun, bugs down. A chance, Poshka got the fiend's grip. Got him caught to the side, couple punches, and that's gonna finish the job. FN ends up falling up top though. Toronto, Tokyo getting chased down here. No chrono, but they don't need it. With the eventual right click finish, that's gonna be ages down. Do they have anything else left in the tank to take this guy down? That's Cookie definitely. gonna connect. Stampede afterwards, good hook, don't block and turn around! Collapse, raise there onto two, looks for the second. Toronto, Tokyo living through this one for the moment, but it's a ton of damage out, and in the end, it was too much. But they will be able to run down Petashara, not quite in time. As a smoke here, two man smoke with Void and Lion. Voshka? Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh! BKB, the Nightmare trade off though! Well played by the Lion, one more hit takes down Slayer. Oh man, if they, if they can manage to get this kill, this would be insane with all these heroes nearby. It feels really difficult though. Well, maybe there. Oh no, Slayer. Oh God, oh God, not like that. Chronosphere afterwards though, but he nightmares one and gonna grip the other. The Chrono does nothing. Oh, and the Requiem to follow blows him up. They didn't stand a chance. Oh, At least in the and... top lane, they can get a... No, nah. they... Nothing. <laughs> they can get nothing. <laughs> oh, he gets the blink away before the damage comes in. So it's just a numbers game. Also, Bane is much better, in my opinion, when you don't have like a whole full team there. Because obviously, Fiend's Grip, maybe one person can cancel it, two people at best, right? It's right. tougher. Well, speaking of which, caught him. Oh my god, that crit with the DD. Devastating. Slayer now caught. Going to get brought down here in just a moment. Nowhere left to go. Dude, SF hits very hard. Yep. Yeah. That's a, it's a struggle at the moment. But the pressure going to be mounted up top. Slayer 
hoping to not get blown up in one shot. Tetashara walks in. It's a little Infernal Blade off. Start to bring Yatoro down a little bit lower. But Toronto Tokyo does not appear to care about anything. One more jump comes in. Nightmare afterwards. Oh, God. They're going to one-shot him, aren't they? Oh, Toronto Tokyo's waiting. He wants this one-shot. Doink! Oh. <laughs> it was two that time. But nonetheless, just so much physical damage coming out from this SF. Oh, it, was, it was like AC the, done. Look, that lion actually had infinite value. It was like the cap theory, right? He like tanked 800 damage in the second hit. Super inefficient. Really. Ah, that's a good uh, point. Is, that's the real value it. of Supernova as well. I think so, actually. I think honestly, Dooming the supports might be your best targets because Dooming Raking's okay. first life is useless. Dooming Centaur has value because you get rid of the Stampede, so that's also a thing. And I mean, I guess if you're Dooming SF, I think all your tools are in one hero, and that's just. Well, this is not the perfect fight. Uh, <laughs> That's not it, no. Bignum will get brought down there. Unique have to back back home, clear out their ways, and that leaves open Aegis number three. Claps, ready to break any smokes that are coming around from the other side. And in the meantime, Toronto Tokyo punches away at this tier three tower. Yeah, it's just gone so quickly. And there really isn't a great way to stop this from happening. Bignum jumps forward. Stuns him. Good jump afterwards. Chrono. Oh, it's only onto the Wraith King. That's not going to be good enough. Toronto Tokyo pops the ulti. And now Doom getting dropped down so low. Dead. No buyback. Unique. Nowhere left to go. As this one is just about going to do it. Thought for a second that I had them muted and they called it. But no, it finally does come out. Slayer calls the GG. Team Spirit. Still good at Dota, it turns out. Yeah, who would have guessed, right? When it's TI, still good at Dota. They're taking the Alliance route more than the OG route. Here. But uh, Team Spirit, honestly, great performance by them. Oh, Fetishar has been able to get some pretty good uh, pressure on consistently against this troll, uh, which is nice. And oh, slow down. Double. The value axe. Comes on in. Ooh, not able to get away in time and trying to hit the combo. They managed to find that root. Still with the fairy fire. Seems he didn't pop it. Okay, decides he wants to die instead. He First was so blood. ashamed by how short that burrow strike was that he decided to just die. <laughs> he was like, I, I don't deserve to use this fairy fire this life. Maybe next time. <laughs> no one's ever told mid players how to get rid of wards. They don't know. Uh, so Why do you think Ice Frog gave them a gold bounty eventually? He's like, look, see? Oh, FN though. Look at this. He's taking the small camp away from Toronto, Tokyo. Oh, that hurts. That's a painful one. Gets level six now also. So Toronto this Tokyo kind brain. of has to be careful. And meantime, there's a kill on the Ursa down bottom, but still action going on mid. Toronto Tokyo will be forced back and away, so can't really fully dive for that one. But yeah, nice combo. Yeah, they bring that, down the Ursa. That might have been a kill, but th this exchange mid is actually more important, so it's fine. Our observer knows what's really important as he also grabs that kill up top. Well done. Is it Eosin? Is Eosin yes, Eosin? It is. I'm so late in. Ah, of course it is. What a legend. <laughs> Slayer dropping down low. Couple more punches is all they need. We'll get them, but Mira also gonna pay the price for that one. So, more kills going into the favor there of uh, Team Spirit. And well, oh, now man. dive in, trying to find the finish. Toronto Tokyo gets Dude. the kill, you gets out die. afterwards. He got six so much earlier. That that's like the whole point. It's like there's oh my be God. no way. Big them's feeding. Oh, no. Get out of there. <laughs> it's a beat brought down, but Poshka finishes it off. Easy as pie, and now uh, if a region responds top, it's just over. Like, let, let's say you're queuing into a game here, and your carry's building a battle fury. What emotions does that fill you with these days? I mean, does it concern you? A little bit. Some amount of dread. Although, Storm Spirit gain a kill like that. That's, that's making me feel... Oh, not like this, though. FN. No, no, he's good, he's good, he's good. He's fine. He's good. He's got a positive mental attitude. I don't know. I'm not Look, sure. <laughs> you No, you will his down. death. That was on you. Okay. Very well played. He, he held bolas the whole time. There was no opportunity. Jeez. Uh, and down bottom, collapse. Drops the arena to just walk away. Some just who tried to make it happen, but also a kill simultaneously on to the IO up top. So just action all over the map right now. There's something as uh, FN rotates down here, right? Well, they're not gonna be able to find Good an bait. opening. On to Slayer, brought down low. Hex afterwards, trying to bring off Toronto. Tokyo, the remnant through. 
jumps away, but will it be enough? Flame Guard keeps him alive for a long time, but not long enough. And instead, it's Unique that are the ones making the moves, finding the kills. They take down the Storm and the Snapfire for the Lion. Now get the 10 minute the, room. The Ember. And he's back. But Voshka okay. knows his brain's too big. Look, he's so smart. Oh. His brain, you know, his teammates are dying and he knows, you know? Yeah. That's every Storm player. They had one track mind. All they think about is runes. Here, with Collapse. Slayer's nearby, though, and has level six. Can they turn this first kill into a second one? Revealed when, when there. the Slight scouts the lion. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> that feels bad. Although, maybe a chance for a turn here. Cookie comes out afterwards, connects on a boat. Oh, and they catch him and kill him. Collapse made the play together with Mira. Pretty stuff. For me, Cook, I, I think he'll get away with this. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, this scanned. Yeah, that's not great. Um... Dude, they have kisses. Oh, from downtown, the bash comes at the same time, and he's dead to Roche. Roche, Roche is so low. Oh, my God. Are they going to get it? Mira spots it, sees how low this Roche is. Give it a <laughs> tip so afterwards. <laughs> like to see it. Oh, what happens next, though? FN moves in, finger of death dead. Now Remnant comes through, connects on a bunch of them, collapses there, doesn't have, does have the arena. Spear is going to connect, oh, now it's Horo on top of both of them. Oh, and they got him caught, he can't go anywhere. The devastation, they take down Big Num, they kill off everybody, and Taro just going to run right into Roche, as it will be one last finish there on a Petashara. Oh. is having, like, the game of his life right now. Everything he touches turns to gold. And that's usually because people are dying. Hey, he's 3 0 and 5. Oh. <laughs> it's tense down here. I know. He's a ward. See, he sees them all. So they need to decide if they want to set up on this or not. Yeah, they're they're really crazy. Go. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. coming up top. Okay. Bro, jump through. Finger of death. Everything cookie afterwards. And it's not enough to save him. Now FN completely out of mana, though. Oh, in trouble. Gonna try and relocate nice. him away. Will be able to, just a little ways out of there. So they're gonna find the kill onto Slayer. But it comes at the cost of the Ember and Grandma. That was great. Oh, wait. And the Isle, of course. Oh, right. Good call. Yeah, well, we'll have to throw that in there, too. So, I mean, it's two for two, but it's both supports. They killed the Ember and they took a fight. Walt. They just, just now going to be reclaimed. So three minutes till it's back online, but getting a ton of value out of that. Spear, not on the mark. Yule Scepter afterwards, lift up. And the cookies to follow means no blink out for Petushara. Oh. I mean, I, I'm, I don't know if they would really end up dying from it, but I mean, they're just running in again. They do not appear to care that much. And Unique backing out. Ooh. Spear gonna connect. Slayer hexes out. Not gonna connect onto him. And they'll find the one kill. God, he's so close to blink. More gold taken away. Team Spirit, keep putting the hurt on, and now hitting this tier two tower. They got it. He's such a boss on class. He's just holding his jewels. Now, well, and Roche is getting taken. Full vision in the area. They see Petashara underneath that ward, and not realizing what's going on. Roche is going down, very close to dead. And I think Team Spirit is just gonna run at him afterwards. Already, Toronto Tokyo's looking. Wants to chase, wants to find somebody. Petashara didn't get to the other side with the burrow strike. TP's away, but uh, not going to be able to as they get the root down and dead Sand King. I have a prediction. Okay. After this game, if you check Dota TV, Petashara will be in a Sand King game. KB is almost online, so even if you manage to bring him down once here in a second, he'll still have that second life available. Not the blink reveal you're looking for. No, not so much. Hype, though. Hype. You know, I, I got off a of hex, guys. <laughs> They also have the Inkswell Aghanim Shard. So he's like... Oh, nice. Best parts of Troll and Slark all combined together. That's actually uh, a really weird combo with Troll. Yeah. Huh. You like yeah, it? that's really annoying. Yeah, I really like it. Because like, <laughs> it, it fits so well with everything else he does, right? Like the Whirling Axes around him, and then like the timing you're worrying about with the ulti, and then maybe the smoke heal on comes smoke. out at the perfect time. Burrow Strike there on the two. This is about as good as it gets. Do they have enough follow-up? Can they bring him down in time? No. The leash is there. They're trying to finish him off. FN fully encapsulated in pain as he tries to jump out of there. You're already dead. They don't even bring down poor old Ember.
He did manage to kill off Collapse, but everybody dies but FN. Devastation. Oh, oh, no. oh he's coming. Good. He's coming. He's coming. No, he's All right, what happened it. to Team... Almost right. What happened to Team Spirit? Yeah. How, how dare they? You're just going to let them live in the well? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Man, another instance, though where that freaking ink swell makes all the difference in the world and yeah they're just going straight in for the tier four towers they change all the hero and heal it or the, the creep oh no we got more creeps coming anyway we're good yeah they're good to go fn goes in takes down the one there's a whole new round of them nothing left in the tank as team spirit are going to close this one out an easy 2-0 for the ti champs what a pretty series from them post ti blues I'm not looking so blue, you know? 